хочу привітати пана Андрія Єрмака. Дякую дуже, пане Андрію, за те, що ви знайшли навіть час з нами говорити в цій непрості, в цю непросту пору. Тобто, загальні коментарі тоді з вашого боку, а тоді генерал Петрев задасть питання. Окей. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, not that good, actually. I guess you know the news already. The Russians can't defeat us on the battlefields. So we resort to terror of the scale unseen since the World War II. Day after day, they are violating international law. The Russian troops have and are still committing all kinds of the war crimes and the crimes against humanity. Today, residential buildings all over Ukraine were hit again. People rushing to work in the morning were killed right on the sidewalks or burned in their cars. In Kyiv, in Zaporizhia, Dnipro, Mykolaiv, Zhytomyr, Khmelnytsky, and Lviv. One of the missiles hit a playground in the capital's downtown. Massive artillery barrages and missiles attack on civil and critical infrastructure are a core of the current Russian strategy. Due to our intelligence services report, the Russians have been preparing missile strikes on the Ukrainian capital and the infrastructure for the long time. There is no practical military sense in those large-scale acts of the terrorism. They wanted to affect the, of, uh, the, capi uh, the capabilities uh, of the Ukrainian defense forces. But there is a simple logic behind these actions. Their goal is to entail humanitarian catastrophe in Ukrainian towns and cities. The calculation is twofold. The first part is to make living conditions too harsh to survive in winter, to provoke another wave of migration and depopulate Ukraine. The second part of the plan is to psychologically break Ukrainians, to make us wish the war ended no matter how. We are looking for the options to end the war as a winner. And the recent events might indicate a change in its approach to waging it. For the first time, a special post of the so-called Special Military Operation Commander has been introduced. It possibly indicated that the Ministry of Defense and the General Staff hit lost trust. The Crimean Bridge blast story is unfolding in a way that could indicate that the power game between the Facebook and military has got harsher. It means more terror attacks against Ukraine will follow. The power grid and heating facilities uh, are among their preliminary targets. The Russians are trying to look for some, but in fact they are desperate. They are doing now is uh, the well-known strategy of the strengthening the negotiation position and forcing to peace. So let Putin go to the G20 summit as triumphant, not loser. To look more convincing, Moscow is blackmailing the wild world with the energy and food storages and the, the, the nuclear disasters. Specifically, they keep firing at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. And we have to admit, the method works with the some uh, policymaker and the public opinion leaders. Nowadays, we hear different voices calling the negotiation with Russia. But the truth is that negotiations come 
after de-escalation. And the Russia is doing something completely opposite. It shows no goodwill to stop the aggressions it has started. Moscow is once again raising this, uh, these stakes. The people of Ukraine long for peace, but we reject coercion to peace. We will not submit for Ukrainians' very existence as a state and as a nation depends on our victory. But let me put it clear, if we did, Russia would not stop. It would go to the way of aggression further, step by step, no matter what great deals you strike did it. What's uh, why the peace on the Russian conditions is unacceptable. Saving Putin's face is this wrong way, but it's a shortcut to the next war. Russia should be recognized what it's really is a state sponsor of the terrorism. Meantime, helping Ukraine is crucial for the world, democratic community. First of all, its weapons, equipment, and ammunition. We need them now. We need effective missiles defense to stop barraging genocide of Ukrainian civilians. The Ukrainian sky must be closed as soon as possible. But besides, we need more artillery, MLRS, tanks, armored ve uh, vehicles, drones and other materials to liberate our people and our territories as soon as possible. We say time is money. In our case, time is lives. Thousands of them. It has been repeated many times that Russia must not win the war. It is time to edit the phrase, Ukraine must win the war. Any other options will encourage Russia to repeat. And in the end, I'd like to say once again, and we never tire to repeat, we very thanks to United States of America, to the people of United States, to the both parties in Congress, to the administration of the President Biden, you support and help our country in the beginning of this terrible war. We never forget it. And believe me, our victory, it will be joint victory of Ukraine and United States. We sure about it. We know that we very near to our victory, victory of the all democratic world, of the all, all free world. Thank you very much. Slava Ukraini. Well, on behalf of everyone here, let me just start. Я мені всіх тут я хочу подякувати одразу за те, що ви знайшли час на нас і за дуже важливу заяву, яку ви зробили.